did you actually know you could customize the two panel to fit your working style in adobe photoshop well this video is coming up shortly So amongst your two panel in here, so let's actually come down to the edit toolbar in here. So let's right click in here and let's click edit toolbar. So in here we can actually customize the toolbar. So all the entire tools that you can see here are actually here. Scrolling down to the bottom, we have each and every tool that we have here over here so you would agree with me that there is not every tool that we have here that we've been able to use before okay so there are some tools that are so important to you and you often use them so we can maintain those tools here what about those that we often don't use what do we do with them so we can actually pull those tools to this extra tools here so just hold this one and just drag it here this way so we can actually customize this so i don't use this often so amongst the uh, cutting tools uh, the uh, marquee tools i don't use these other ones so i often use this one this two so let's maintain this two then when it comes here i use all these wow so let's get down to other ones that i i don't use well with the slice tools i don't use a slice too so we actually just bring them back here and just bring it back here and with the count to i don't use the count to often so you can actually customize this to fit into your working style let me know in the comment box below what other tools you've never used before or you even didn't know it existed so that is it if we are done you just have to come back to this side and say done you can also actually save this as a preset by saying save preset then you give it a name so the uh, format is tbr the custom toolbar so just give it a name then you store it you, you can actually load this as a preset so let's say a friend of yours uh, is working on a file or is working on a project and uh, would want you to assist so they can they can actually give you their presets then you load it in here and start working with it good so you can see down over here uh, it's uh, a list of items that we have here so you can see this is the foreground and the background this is the screen the screen mode and this is uh, the quick layer mask so um if i don't want this all these to appear over here they are actually here so if i don't want them to appear over here what i need i'll just do is just click on it like this and you could see it disappears in here so if i want it back just click on it and it comes back when i don't want this the screen mode just click on it then it disappears here when you want it again just click here and it comes back so if we are done just hit on done and there you go you've actually customized the toolbar to suit your working style so let's take a look i did with the rectangle so you could actually remember it was four in here but now it's actually two that is it guys uh this is a short video i have for you i believe you've learned something new in here if you did please do well to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done so uh until i come your way next time this is all blab and solutions and see you in the next one